Yo folks, just want to talk a little bit about the difference between self-pity and disappointment. Just been listening to Brenny Brown answer this question on uh, the Unlocked podcast, which I really recommend checking out. And uh, I'm no Brenny Brown, but it just struck me as a really important concept if you want to be someone who doesn't drink alcohol. So yesterday, I had a call with a potential uh, member of 1000 Day Sober, potential striver, and we spent a good 75 minutes talking about this person's life, about how alcohol is, um, about you know the dreams and the visions they have in the future and about how alcohol is robbing him of those. And I could tell he wanted it so badly. Like, in his bones, he wanted this so badly. And uh, and he told me, like, I fucking want this so bad. But human beings, as we are, we get stuck on the short-term value or pain. In this instance, money again, right? Like... I don't have the money to invest myself in that short, you know, short term wise, I don't have the money to invest in myself. And I was really disappointed for him, right? I wasn't disappointed for myself. I was disappointed for him because I really want to help people become people that don't drink alcohol. I could see how much this would change his life. Like he was in a job which was not his um, his calling and he had a calling inside his heart but you know if you're drinking you're not going to be able to do that so you know as someone who left the railway to do what I'm doing today and feel that freedom inside of me like I was really disappointed for him and I came away and I was like asking the universe look please send him the money that he needs to invest in himself or send him the confidence that he needs to invest in himself because we've all, most of us have got, all of us have got access to money, right? It's just whether or not we value ourselves enough to invest in ourselves. So that is disappointment. I was disappointed, right? Now, when I was a drinker, had I been disappointed with this, I don't think that incident would have driven me to drink. I would have been disappointed that I couldn't help the guy but I don't think I would have been driven to drink. Now, what if I made that disappointment more more of a Lee Davy issue? What if I came away from that call and I said to myself, you know what, Lee, you're fucking useless at having these calls. You don't have the skills to get people to invest in themselves. You don't have, you're not inspirational enough. You, you're not, um, you're not able to show them the value that there is in being someone who doesn't drink alcohol. You're useless, you're terrible, you're pathetic. You're never gonna be able to do this. Like, you might as well just keep writing po- about poker all the time because you're never gonna be able to help people who quit alcohol. Um, you just, this is just not for you. Now that, is self-pity that is that is more of a statement of my personality and more of a statement of my motherboard wiring and who I am and who I've been all my life and that's like tethered to shame right now if I think like that after I've had uh, a conversation where the end result didn't meet my expectations then I'm more likely to drink because I'm going to go away. I already think that I'm a useful, useless person. And now the feedback that I'm giving myself as a result of this interaction with this person, that's reinforcing my belief that I'm a terrible person, that I'm useless, etc. So that's going to lead to me feeling depressed, more anxious, more overwhelmed, I'm going to feel like I'm pathetic. And I'm more likely to drink, to numb those feelings, right? And to run away from myself. But now, today, as I stand as a very strong and powerful human being, 
I can say to myself, you know what? Oh, that was a wonderful experience I had with that call. It was a great experience for me. I learned a ton. I learned a ton about this guy. I learned a ton more about humanity. I learned a ton more about people's struggles around money, finances, and not valuing themselves, particularly men, and investing in themselves. And yeah, I, uh, I'm disappointed for the guy. Um, but he knows what we're about. And when he's ready, um, he'll come knocking. And if he doesn't, that's okay. That's okay. That's not on me, right? That it's okay. It's all right to be disappointed. But there's no self-pity there, okay? And these are the things that we work on in 1000 Days Sober. So get over to www.1000daysober.com. Schedule a 30-second call with me. And uh, let's hope you don't make me disappointed. Cheers.